And she said that this organization had such an impact on forming her personality and her understanding of her faith. And that really struck me because sometimes we tend to forget the impact that these events have on our young people especially. I mean some of the old people also benefiting and getting impact, but the young people, these can be turning points in their lives. And I was in Chicago and I somebody picked me up in a car and and they said uh, you know what the first time I ever met you was at Isna I was 14 years old he was now 30 years old so that tells you how long I've been coming to Isna and he said I remember everything you said to me in that meeting that brief meeting and it really struck home to me the importance of recognizing the immense responsibility that we have towards our youth and providing these and the MSA the Muslim Students Association is an extraordinary organization that has the potential to really transform uh, Islam in America I believe that the Prophet وسلم, his companions were young people generally the people that followed him were young people he had many many very young men, many of them under 20. Sayyidina Ali is really, when Sayyidina Ali became Muslim, he was only seven years old. But he was so fervent in his belief and faith, and the Prophet acknowledged him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was the only one that said, I'll stand by you. A seven-year-old. 
In the spirit of July 4th, Independence Day, I mentioned earlier that Independence Day is a Muslim celebration. And because Independence Day in 1187, July 4th, 1187, Salahuddin al-Ayyubi's army defeated the Crusader state at the Battle of Hattin. So when we see the firework going off, we can remember July 4th. July 4th, 1187. Now, Independence Day is a celebration of freedom. But Muslims celebrate every day Dependence Day, which is a celebration of servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what our young people have to recognize, that life is about service. Life is not about licentiousness. Liberty and libertine are related words. Liberty is freedom, but libertine is the one who acts without any constraints. Libertine in English is a negative word. Liberty is a positive word. There are negative aspects to the ability to do what you want to do. When you want to do what Allah wants to you to do, you're truly free. But when you do what you want you to do, you're a slave to yourself. You're not a free person. A free per the Arabs, the hurr in Arabic, the Arabs say, al abdu hurrun ma qana wal hurru abdu ma qana. The servant, the slave, is a free man as long as he's content. And the free man is a slave as long as he's covetous. The free man is a slave as long as he's a slave to his passions. This country has afforded many Muslims an extraordinary opportunity. But we as a community have to begin to give back in a much bigger way to this country. And, and the African American community, had, there's a whole separate history there. I'm talking to the immigrant community that's come here after 1965, when a lot of people got their heads bashed in before that so that you could come here and get jobs and work and eat in restaurants and be treated like human beings. But it's time for this community to give back. This country is in a crisis. It's in a moral crisis. It's in a financial crisis of unprecedented proportion. Trust me, this crisis is far worse than what happened in 1929. It's far worse. If you actually understand what happened and the amount of credit that was created, the amount of debt and deficit financing that has been the practice of this country for far too long, there hasn't been a balanced budget since John F. Kennedy, and claiming Clinton, claiming that he balanced the budget is a false claim, because what he did was he used Social Security money to pay for his uh, budget. So he was actually borrowing, instead of borrowing from banks by selling treasury bonds, he was borrowing from the future income or earning of people that are putting that wealth, thinking that the government is actually saving that wealth for them. This country, according to the federal controller who resigned a few years ago to go around the United States and warn this country about the impending financial tsunami, proved that this country has liabilities and debts 